Okay. Well, what I was saying to you is that, first of all, see, the, uh, they've been getting all these benefits, even though 92% of them, uh, over 90% of them, are what we call $5 Indians. That means that when the Dawes Rolls came into effect after the Civil War, uh, after the 18, uh, um, uh, you know, after the Civil War of 1860s, and it's in 1896 they put out the Dawes Roll, they go out and register uh, all the blacks and black freemen that were existing because what had happened that Indians in proportional terms had owned as many slaves as whites did. Indians were slave traders, slave hunters, and they fought with the South to maintain slavery. And when they lost the war, not just like the South, they lost their land and they lost all previous treaties. And the only so the government went in there and initiated new treaties with them called the 1866 Indian Treaties. And those treaties stipulated well, whether the Choctaw, Chickasaw, Cherokee and all those so-called civilized tribes, they were civilized because they were owning slaves, that, you, that, that in the future, that, black, that the descendants of black freemen and black Indians must be treated in all manners similar to so-called Native Americans or those, or those so-called slave-holding Indians. And yet, that has never happened. <clears throat> and consequently, even like uh, President Obama has been in office now, since he's been in office, every year he's called about 564 so-called white Indians or passing Indians to the White House and given them $3.5 billion dollars for now for a total of almost $20 billion. And as last year, he gave them all the free radio stations, license, and TV license they wanted. But yet he's never invited all these black folk that the treaty stipulated should be invited. These black freedmen and black Indians were entitled to equal benefits, and they haven't gotten them. And there was no justification for giving any, any, any benefits to descendants of Indians, as if somehow somebody had done something negative to them, because they said, well, my, uh, according to what I learned, is that uh, uh, my, my, it, we were Indians and we walked across this land. Well, before you walked across it, black folk walked across it. And you haven't given any benefits to them. And so now black folks should be getting up raising holy cane now. We got lawsuits under the Freeman Federation to get those benefits. As a matter of fact, this is one thing you didn't know, and I just, just came to my mind, is that some of the, the, the uh, attorneys for the Department of Justice We've been suing the government for, the, for enforcement of those mandated treaty benefits for black men and black freemen for over 10 years now. And some, some attorneys, a couple of attorneys from the Department of Justice finally called our attorneys and said, look, we're willing to come in and settle with you on some of these issues. Because, they, because based on those treaties, black Americans and blacks are entitled to billions and billions of dollars. He said, we'll settle with you. We talked about a settlement. But before we can make it firm, we have to go back and talk to our, uh, our superiors back in the Department of Justice, which you know is headed by a black woman now and, and Obama's administration and Obama himself. They came back and called out people about another week later and said, I'm sorry, we can't do anything about a settlement of all these billions of dollars that have been owed to black folk for over 150 years because our, we were instructed by our superiors to do nothing for, on behalf of black folk. Black folk. The black folk were entitled to benefits even when they get them. And the last thing they do, is, they, they, this young man needs to know about, is that the Indians sent a letter to the United States Department of the Interior in 1938 saying, how do we totally shut black folk out? We know we owe them benefits. They should be getting all the benefits we get. They should have gotten free land. They should be getting their free college education. They should be tax exempt, not paying taxes. They have a right to have casinos like we have. So how do we totally shut them out? And that letter bounced around in the Department of the Interior until about 1941. And they went to the Bureau of Indian Affairs, then back over to the uh, over to Interior again. And what they told them is this: They said, "What you need to do to show to shut black folk down in this country is change the criteria for benefits for black folk, and put out the word and try to get Congress to support you in it, saying that that not only are not the blacks uh, we're going to shut blacks out, but we're going to make sure they get no benefits because unless they can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that 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 they got 25 percent Indian blood. That's called it set up what's called a blood quantum law." That never, never was a part of the treaty, and it doesn't exist. But they said, now, unless a black can pull it, prove it, then therefore they are not entitled to anything. And the, and the irony of that is that everybody on earth has black blood in them because the original people on earth were black folk. And here black folk got to try to try to get use inappropriate behavior and go around trying to figure out how they can claim some Indian blood and white blood. That is outright stupidity. When, they should, when people should be saying, hey, everybody on earth got black blood. And not, it should not be necessary for blacks to get benefits that these Indians are getting uh, because they don't because of some blood quantum laws that was fabricated. And black folks should be getting those benefits. They should have been getting them, but the Congressional Black Caucus won't stand up and fight for it. Nobody in the White House will fight for it. Nobody on the Supreme Court will fight for it. And white politicians tell me, Dr. Anderson, the reason blacks will never get the benefits that that they're entitled to that Indians that they were, that the Indian treaties uh, signed to them is because they got those. So you have no black leadership in the country with stand up. This is coming from white 
congressman telling me that. He said, you have none of them having the backbone, and the rest that do have backbone don't have enough damn sense to do it. 